Vote for six-headed zombie Hitler to stop seven-headed zombie Hitler. So have you given any thought to who you're going to vote for in November? Yeah, well, I've been thinking about it a lot, actually. I think I'm going to sit this one out or, like, maybe vote third party. What? Don't you know democracy is on the line this election? Jill, this is the most important election of our lifetimes. Jack, they say that every election. But this time it's true, Jill. Seven-headed zombie Hitler wants to commit genocide and take over the world. Uh, well, so does his opponent, six-headed zombie Hitler. Look, I'm not saying six-headed zombie Hitler is perfect, but come on, he's obviously way better than seven-headed zombie Hitler. Sometimes you just have to vote for the lesser evil. It's not even clear to me that six-headed zombie Hitler is meaningfully more evil than seven-headed zombie Hitler, Jack. I mean, six-headed zombie Hitler is really, really evil. Like, what about all that genocide and imperialism he's been supporting? Okay, but do you want all that genocide and imperialism to be perpetrated by a zombie Hitler with even more heads? Just imagine how much worse it could get with that extra zombie Hitler head added into the mix. Oh, but Jack, doesn't it feel kind of silly to be even debating this stuff anymore? At some point, don't we have to stop acting like the election results are the problem when the real problem is clearly a system that's so corrupt and undemocratic that it now forces us to choose between being ruled by undead Nazi Hydra monsters with six heads or seven heads? Jill, now's not the time. Let's just focus on getting six-headed zombie Hitler into office, and then we can pressure him from the left to enact policies we want. We can have our little revolution after we've stopped seven-headed zombie Hitler. Yeah, well, that's what you say now, but next election cycle, they'll roll out another zombie Hitler with even more heads, and you'll be saying the same thing. There's a zombie Hitler with even more than seven heads? Gosh, seven-headed zombie Hitler doesn't sound so bad anymore. Oh, see? This is exactly what I'm talking about. This keeps happening. We keep finding ourselves in situations where they have to keep voting for a lesser evil who's more and more evil each election cycle. When I was younger, they told us that we had to choose the least bad of two corrupt, warmongering oligarch puppets who want America to rule the world. And then at some point, they started telling us that we have to choose between two candidates who both literally support genocide. And now we're seeing presidential races where it's just a bunch of mad scientists creating zombie Hitler monsters with more and more heads. But Jill... Where is the line, Jack? Where is the line of evil you won't cross beyond? At what point do you stop supporting evil monsters to defeat other slightly more evil-looking monsters? At what point do you say, nope, that's too much evil for me. It's the system itself that needs to be defeated. Well, I definitely never go higher than 12 heads. Ugh, 